It is Thursday. That means we have a vet here to answer your pet questions. So if you have a problem with your pet, you can give us a call right now. The number is 460-KJRH. And you know this guy. It's Dr. Joe Landers. He's here every Thursday answering your questions. And this week he's brought along <laughs> China. Good morning. China. Very, yes, thank you very much. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> China's got some energy. China does. Uh, she's about eight weeks old now, and she's a great little cat here. She needs something to do all the time, so she's kind of she will be a great mouser one day. Um, mm -hmm. She got her name. Her first name was American Standard, um, which and tell us uh, that story. Well, she uh, she was found in a toilet bowl about three weeks. Found ago. Found in so, a toilet bowl. Yeah, I think she went in for a drink and couldn't get back out. Kind of kind of <laughs> sad. It's somebody's yeah. right house, I believe. So right. But she's doing great. She's very very good. Uh, she's not a uh, she she will not sit on your lap for long. She'll kind of cuddle with you and then want to play or whatever. And that's why I have about nine different toys here to kind of play with. But but she's a good little kitten. She is ready to go. She's very 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 healthy, very, very strong. You're getting stronger every day, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And where can she's we find China? Oh, I'm sorry. She's over at Heritage, or she's at animalaid.org on the net. So, All right. And that's 744-8280 is yes, the number at Animal Aid, right? Yes. Okay, let's go to the phones. First up today, we have Mary from Tulsa. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. What's your question? I have a five-year-old black lab mm -hmm. with glaucoma yes. in one eye. And I was wondering, could it spread to the other eye? And the, is it uh, feasible to have the glaucoma eye removed? The the answer the answer kind of my my short answer to that is that that yes there's probably a chance especially if it was not a traumatic glaucoma that is that there was an injury to the eye to cause the glaucoma there is a, a a chance that the other eye will get that that's something that you want to watch very close there's an ophthalmologist that comes to town to take the pressures or your veterinarian a lot of times we have a little pressure deal that we take and we kind of your dog you should especially the the eye that seems to be normal that should be watched really closely probably every four to six months have some pressures done because the sooner that you get the glaucoma pressure down the better you'll be okay dogs a lot of times all of a sudden it kind of comes on and by then there's a lot of damage in the eye to answer your question on the other eye that has a glaucoma already, especially if it's non-visual I'll be honest with you uh, f a lot of times I would help save these eyes for aesthetics and, and it sounds terrible, but it, it's non-visual, and they're usually more painful. And, and in my, my experience, I'd, I've been wrong before. I've taken out the eye, and the dog has done much better. And I thought to myself, gosh, you know, I left it in there too long. But that's something to go over with your veterinarian. Now that we have these pressure tests, it's much easier to hopefully keep that under control and then also see when it's not going so well. So, All right. uh, But, yeah, definitely definitely get with your veterinarian on that. That's, that's sure. very serious. Yeah, sounds like it. Let's head out to Morris and talk to Sheila. Sheila, how are you? I'm doing Hi. okay. How are you? Good. Yeah. What's your question? Um, I have a five-year-old Boston Terrier, mm -hmm. and ever since I've had her, she chews on her feet, mm -hmm. and she scratches at herself. It's like her whole body itches. Yeah. We had her tested for skin mites. Mm -hmm. We've had the, the steroid shots for her, Does those and help? we give her Benadryl every night. Mm -hmm. Do the steroid shots help? No. Okay. Uh, not at all? No, okay. not at all. Sometimes you may want to talk to your veterinarian. There's a few things that we've done before. Some of those guys that the steroid shots don't help, they can do a skin biopsy, especially in the areas that they think are the most effective. And there's also another medicine out there called atopica, which is a different type of it's kind of it's 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 a different type of anti-inflammatory, and that may be something that you want your veterinarian to talk to you about. There's also a dermatologist in town and uh, Dr. Dr. Sauber, and you can get a you can you can also have a uh, referral to her. And sometimes uh, that may be something because boy, you you kind of hit on the most common stuff there. And when it's not that, there can be some other deals. So, but yeah, you want to kind of dig a little deeper into that so all right we are out of time but dr landers is here every thursday to answer your pet questions and if you missed any of today's segment you can go to kjrh.com and click on the lifestyle tab to watch it again learn about other pets who need homes and find out more about heritage veterinary hospital thank you